Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena and in today's video I'm going to be trying on for you guys Daphne Beauty's brand new lipstick vintage with a twist. And here is the packaging. Um, I was fortunate to um, get the entire collection gifted to me by Daphna herself. It comes with five lipsticks in vintage inspired packaging and shades. It says, thanks to a little twist, vintage looks can now last longer than ever. These lipsticks start off creamy and will dry matte on your lips for an extra long wear, smooth and easy application with all the benefits of a long lasting lipstick. The container is airtight, so don't forget to twist the cap tightly after each use, enjoy. And the different lip shades is Vintage Nudie, Vintage Mod, Vintage Starlet, Vintage Baddie, and Vintage Vamp. I have zero patience, so I'm not gonna pretend like this is an unboxing video by any means because I just cannot wait and I was very impatient and I had to try the two um, shades that I fell in love with when I first saw um, Daphna share her new product. I fell in love with two of the shades, which I'm going to share for last because I bet you guys will like it on me as well. Um, I fell in love with Vintage Batty and Vintage Vamp. So this one and this one I was almost sure would look fantastic on me, but I'm going to try them all on for you guys. Um, along with this set, she also sent me um, a lipstick brush and this was so cool. Like I am not a makeup girly, so... Um, so it has a retractable, like fine brush right here. Super cool. And then you have a larger brush. Let me just, it's focusing on my head, but you get a, a larger brush over here. Um, so that way you can use the fine brush as a lip liner and you can use the flat one to actually apply the lipstick. I've done a vintage lipstick try on for Revlon's True Vintage Shades and I'll leave that linked above somewhere up there and you can go check out that video after this one. I tried on all of the Revlon shades that I could get my hands on that I felt like would look okay on me. I did have to purchase all of those lipsticks so I spent quite a bit and I didn't end up liking very many of them all at all. It was very sheer and not very pigmented, so I don't think that it's the best option for darker skinned women, especially someone like me who does not wear any kind of foundation or face makeup. Exactly how my face is right now with no filter, no um, foundation or anything like that, that's exactly how I wear my makeup. I have problematic skin, so I just find it easier to maintain and take care of if I go without any kind of face makeup and lipstick and eyeliner is all that I usually wear. I've been out of eyeliner for a couple of months now, so I haven't even been wearing that. So I depend a lot on my lipstick and I have one singular brand that I wear all the time in one shade. It is Beauty Bakery's Cranberry Stiletto Liquid Lipstick. I wear that every single day, every day of the year, and I don't stray from it. So that's why we don't really do makeup on this channel. The first shade that we're going to do is um, Vintage Nudie. I actually did not try this one on because I am pretty sure it's not going to work for me at all. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna try it on anyway. This looks beautiful on Daphna, stunning on her. And it's a beautiful shade too. So I think that for me to be able to wear this, realistically, I would have to line with like a dark brown or a darker colored lipstick for it to work nicely on my skin. Um, but because I don't do makeup, I don't have liner. And for me, as a, a, a no fuss makeup person, I think having to put on liner and do all of that extra for blending is a bit too much for me. What I think I'm going to do is use a darker shade to line my lips and then, um, put this on top. So, but first, just to show you, I'm gonna put it on anyway. Okay, so, <laughs> it kinda looks crazy. I'm sitting in front of my very large window. Um, I have the lights off in my room, so this is daylight and this is it. But we're going to line 
with a darker shade to see if we can like kind of hone it in. So I'm going to grab Vintage Vamp to try and like fix this a little. Um, and if it's just not my shade, that's fine too, which we already know that. But like if I can't fix it, then it's also because one, I don't have one, it's not my shade. And two, I don't have the skill to fix it, right? I will link Daphna's website and socials below so you can check out all of her product lines. So don't forget to check that out. She also has a YouTube channel, which I will also link. And on top of being a vintage beauty, she sells too. This is the best I could do. I suck at this, like, ugh. Which, truth be told, I only suck because it's not an interest of mine because I feel like... I feel like makeup is a skill like anything else. So, like, if you're really interested in it, you'll work harder and then you'll develop a skill. Um, and because I don't care that much... Like, I... I think for me it's really important for me to have like a signature look so once I get what I like down then I um I stick with it so there's nothing really for me to learn like I picked my favorite lipstick I usually wear blush I don't have any blush on right now and then I have like my eyeliner and then sometimes mascara if it hadn't ran out yet <laughs> and then I have a signature look so this is what um vintage nudie and vintage vamp look like paired together and now let me try and take this off and move on to the next also i want to say that this lipstick smells fantastic it does go on very creamy like a regular lipstick would and then it dries matte um there is no it doesn't really come off um on initial um wear it does start to lose it does start to transfer later on into the wear so that's something i could tell you straight away like definitely if you eat and stuff like that then it won't last all day long but you do get pretty long wear with this lipstick and i really like it um the lipstick that i usually wear you get all day every day like <laughs> even after you eat and everything it's still on there um this one doesn't last quite as long i would say that it has maybe half that stay power which is still really good because I find that as much as I love my actual lipstick, it's a bit too much for me sometimes um, to have to like wake up with the lipstick on because I can't get it off. The wipe alone was not enough so I did end up having to use a little bit of olive oil to get it off. Now it's time to move on to Vintage Mod which is like a Barbie pink color. I'm going to show you that here. It's the color right here. I don't know if I did that with the other one. So this is Vintage Mod all by itself and naturally it looks a little crazy so it's time to line it so that way we can get a better color payoff. We're still experimenting, right? So I have some lipstick from Beauty Bakery. It's called Dessert First. This is what it looks like close to my lips. <laughs> so we're going to try it on. I need to start moving a little faster because we're running out of daylight. So Dessert First is like more of a hot pink type shade. So it's giving more of like a Barbie pink. I think it looks better than Vintage Mod all by itself. And I think Vintage Mod is supposed to be a take on a 60s lip color. But um, obviously it wouldn't really look really good on me. And I decided to pair it with another pink because I felt like it would look a little bit different than the nude look the nudie look that I just did before. So this is the look. And now it's time to move on to Vintage Starlet. This is a true red, like an orange red, which does not look good on me at all, but I'm going to try it on anyway. I have not tried this color at all. So here it is. Um, I work, my skin tone, my undertones do really well with blue reds and not orange reds. I have not worn an orange red since I did the last try on, lipstick try on. And then before that, it's been years. Um, 
this is like the vintage red um or one of the vintage reds so yeah it's time to put it on and these are so creamy like they apply so nicely and that's what's like blowing my mind because I'm used to two matte lipsticks being extremely dry to the point where after um I want to say after a couple wears like it's really hard to apply because they're just so dry and so the fact that this is so smooth and then it dries matte is like wild to me but one thing I want to note while this dries up is that when you're wearing an orange red and you're and it doesn't work well with your undertone I really don't know how that works so I sound like a, a makeup girly but I'm not um it ends up looking orange on you um and when you're wearing an orange red but it like matches your skin tone then it looks red so this is how I know that an orange red is not for me because it looks orange on my lips whereas someone who's wearing this red and it goes well with their undertone it actually looks red and that's not to say that this color is not um wearable I definitely think it's wearable especially if you're intending to have like a more orange lip like I have outfits that could definitely use an orange lip so this is it let's get into our next color it's vintage batty and if you are coming from my youtube shorts then you've already seen me wear this color and um i've, I've been wearing it quite a lot actually uh, i've been wearing it on and off with my preferred lipstick so let's get to that color i have been wearing this one already it looks so much nicer with my skin tone in my humble opinion um, let's compare the two before I put it on. So here we have the Vintage Starlet Orange Red, and then we have this Blue Red. So yeah, you can definitely tell the difference. And I'm so excited to show you guys this one. And this is vintage baddie and I feel like a baddie it looks so beautiful on me it's a beautiful color I think all of the colors are beautiful especially if you know how to work them this is it dried and I love this color I like I said I wear it a lot if you could tell from like when I showed you up on the screen it's worn down more than the other colors because I've been wearing it like often on switching it out with my other lipstick to Finally, for the very last lipstick shade, we're going with Vintage Vamp, and this was one of my favorites. It's so cute. Um, and I actually think this kind of looks nude on me, uh, but we're gonna put this on so that way you guys can see it. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on this lipstick. Okay, so it is starting to get really dark, so it's time for me to wrap it up, and these are my final thoughts. I really like Vintage Vamp. It is so pretty. Um, it definitely is giving nude for me. Um, it has a lot of brown notes and tones in it, and then it has like a little bit of red, but not very much at all. So I really like this for a very subtle day-to-day um, -day look if you're somebody who does not like a bold red lip. I really like it. Um, I feel like I'm going to get the most wear out of the last two colors, Vintage Batty and Vintage Vamp. So I really like it. I, when I featured this on my YouTube short, someone said that it was a little pricey for a brand that they didn't know. This lipstick is vegan friendly. Um, the packaging is really nice. Um, I tried the Revlon lipsticks and they didn't come in any packaging at all except for the little plastic thing that keeps people from tampering it out of the drugstore. I have this really pretty satin box. It's a satin lined box. You get to see the colors in a very vintage il illustration right here and then you get the lipsticks in a nice lipstick canister. They look vintage. Um, the, the gold tubing looks vintage. You have Daphne's name 
or signature written on the bottom of it and then you get the lipstick shades right here it's really nice it airtight so that way they stay creamy and don't dry out over time and when it comes to not just the packaging but for me you do spend a little bit more when you work with a small business which Daphne is um she actually showed reels of her packaging putting all the packaging together and doing everything herself when you have a smaller business you do end up paying more but i always notice that with smaller businesses the quality is usually there and the attention to detail is just beyond me but also as somebody who does not buy makeup all i do is wear lipsticks so i do tend to invest more into my lip colors i'm gonna put on the screen how much the individual lipsticks are for Daphna, but I, on my my Beauty Bakery lipstick, I know I spend anywhere from $24 to $30 per lipstick. So that is the price point that I'm willing to spend on the only cosmetic that I use to make my day-to-day -day look. Also lipstick and like most things they are a luxury, so we all have different price points. And so it's up to you to decide what's best for you. I think it's worth the value, because again, um, even with Daphne's products, not only do I get a really good color payout and wear, but I also get a product that is true to my aesthetic. So I think that even if I were to take, like go out on and put something in my purse, I would really want to have this lipstick in my purse if I wanted to give the full like aesthetic look, if that makes any sense. Like, um, as opposed to pulling out like the wand of a liquid lip, which I don't necessarily have to do with the lipstick that I wear. I usually just apply at home and it lasts me the whole day and there's no need to reapply. But if ever I had to reapply, I would love to pull out one of Daphne's lipstick because they just look so cute. They smell really good. Um, the It's not super perfumey, but it does have like, I wanna say it has like a chocolatey scent. Um, like, don't quote me on it. I'm not one of these like, uh, perfume or makeup experts you know people who could be like it has nodes of cherry and whatever like i i can't do that for you but it reminds me of chocolate so that's really good it's not super perfumey to where it's an agonizing scent the texture is divine it dries matte and there is no color transfer you can wear this for most of the day before it starts to transfer um, i find that after i eat with this lipstick on especially if what i'm eating has oil in it then it start to transfer um, like most makeup do. I really hope that this was helpful or a fun video for you guys to watch. It's not like what I normally do here, but I think it's fun to switch it up here and there. Really thankful for Daphna for sending me her lipsticks to try. They were wonderful. I liked them all and I was able to make all of them work. I was not able to do that with the Revlon lipsticks just because they were so sheer. Like the makeup that I already have, like the lipsticks that I have, even if they're not matte, are way more pigmented anyway. So I feel like the Revlon lipsticks felt more like a, I think I said like a lip gloss um, or like a colored balm. They feel moisturizing, unlike the lipsticks, the liquid lips that I usually wear. These feel like they're more moisturizing. So if you're somebody who has dry lips, um, I would recommend these over the other ones because the ultra matte, long, super long wear one that I usually wear on a regular basis have tend to dry out people's lips who have drier lips. I don't have that problem, so I can get away with that. But if you're looking for something that is matte, long wear, but also moisturizing, then I think this would be a better wear for you. Thank you guys for sticking through to the end with me. This is probably a longer video. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for all of my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. Like this video if you want more like this. Um, if I can come across some more uh, vintage lipsticks that I can try out because I know it's a little bit harder for our darker skinned beauties out here, I will give them a try and then post a another video and make this like a small teeny tiny series. If you're not already a Patreon, go ahead and join us bobbins over there. I have early access to um, videos. Next week's video will be up right now, so you're gonna get to watch that a week early. I also do some sneak peeks to upcoming projects and I ask you guys questions, like if I need to decide between two sets of buttons, I'll ask you guys there and you guys can give me feedback. So thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making this video. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me over on Instagram at Serena underscore if you want to see what I'm up to in real time. And I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say in the comments below. So leave me a comment and I will see you in the next one. Bye.